Just when you thought there was nothing new in GarageBand, Apple have snuck in a brand new free audio unit plugin. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what it is and if it's going to be useful. Let's go. GarageBand on iPhone and iPad has a bunch of free plugins. To get to them, you go to your mixer icon, you tap on plugins and EQ, and if we hit this edit button and one of these green plus buttons, here's all the default plugins. There's 10 of them in total. I cover them in detail here on the channel. There's links down in the description if you want to check those out. They also have the ability to add third-party plugins, and here's a bunch that I've downloaded and installed from a bunch of different developers over the last few years. And if you scroll right to the bottom, you'll notice that there's these plugins directly from Apple. I've got another video showing how you can make sure you enable and install these plugins. It's super simple. Once again, that's linked down in the description. But in iOS and iPadOS 16, we got a new one, and it's this one. It's the Sound Isolation Plugin. Let's tap on it to select it, and now let's talk about what it does. Now we need to do a little bit of detective work here because Apple don't put out a lot of documentation around these plugins. So if we jump in here and tap on this one, we've only got two options here. We've got a wet and dry slider. And then if we drop down on this one, we've only got voice as the sound to isolate. Now my speculation is that this is part of the new Apple Music Sing feature that actually removes vocals from music within Apple Music so that you can sing along a karaoke style. The problem is, that would be a kind of handy plugin to have here in GarageBand, except it doesn't kind of work that way. It works the other way in that we'll remove the audio and the music and the backing track and the instrumentation and leave the voice behind. What do I mean? Let's show you. This GarageBand project is a stereo mix of my song Murdering Time. Now I'm going to turn off that plugin to start with, and this is what it sounds like without that plugin applied. A murdering time, murdering time. So you can hear all the instrumentation and the vocal there as well. Now, if we turn on this and hit the icon here, we're going to put this at 100% wet at the moment. And again, the only option there is the sound to isolate is the voice. So we're going to put those on and hit done. Now let's go back and listen to that same passage with this plugin applied. A murdering time, murdering time to save myself another. So it's removed a lot of that background instrumentation. Now, has it done a fantastic job of doing this? Yeah, not really. It will depend on what the song is that you're using. Now, does this have any application whatsoever? Well, we can remove some of the vocals. So I guess if you wanted to, oh, I don't know, have the vocal come a bit more present in the mix, maybe you could put this down to, say, 30% and hit play. From the thoughts in my mind. And it will adjust, I guess, the ratio between your vocal and the rest of your mix. But really, you're going to do that in your multi-track mix anyway. So limited options of what could actually do here and limited quality. But it is interesting when we find these little Easter eggs that Apple throw in to GarageBand that we can have a play with. 